This tutorial is an update on editing the fixed sections and I'm going to do them one at a time and the first one will be editing the header. This whole area here, this whole section at the top is considered the header and that includes the tagline, the logo, the call us now button and the social media and you can put whatever you want in the header section. So this is what we're going to be working with. It appears that I have some updates. So I will come and check. Update on the theme. And this was just recently updated. So there are so many updates, it's really important to check this first. And if you're hosted on WP Gateway, you can set your themes and your plugins to update automatically. Okay, and it looks like plugins, and there is an update for WP Gateway Security update now. Okay, so we'll come to Theme Jack Biz and over to the flyout window, click on Theme Jack Biz, and we'll start with the header. Header, in case people don't know, is also logo. So if you want to change your logo, you need to come to the header. And we'll come over here and click Edit. Okay, tagline. This right here prevents that sinking feeling. This is the tagline. Okay, and we just go back to the dashboard and we'll click on the gear. Okay, now you can change the text color, the background, text size. You can do any sort of editing on here that you wish. And let's see, we'll just give it a little bit of padding. All right, save. You would set the social links up in the contact section. And if you don't have any social links to use, then you can just toss this in the trash. The Call Us Now button. You can edit that information here. You can now select font. There are a bazillion fonts in here to choose from. You could spend a week just finding the perfect font. Okay, And if you want it to be a tap to call button, you click yes and you put the phone token in here. You can change the button background color, the button hover color. If you want it to link to a page, you can do that. The border radius, the larger the, the border radius, the more rounded the corners. So I'm going to set that at 10. Okay. And you can edit the hover colors, etc. And if you want bold and italic, you can set that. You can add padding. Padding is between the text that's inside the button and the outside edge of the button. And margin is the space between the outside edge of the button and whatever is above or below. OK, and show on all devices and save. OK, and if you want to change the company logo, double click on the gear, click on upload an image, and you can just drag an image and drop it here. Or if you already have one in your library, you can come and select it from the library. OK, so here's the logo image that I'm going to use and you click set as image. Okay, and if you need to have text beneath your image, you can do that. You can choose font size and color, orientation, style. So there's all sorts of settings here that you can do. And click save. Now, if you want to make your logo larger, say you want it to be two-thirds of the width, you would add a row 
add columns and do two-thirds, one-third or three-quarters, one-quarter and add a module and logo upload an image okay and I'm just going to drag the image and drop it there and when it's finished uploading I just click set as image and here's the new image again I can add alternative text text under logo font size there are all sorts of things that you can add and do here if you want you can link the logo to the front page so regardless of the page that somebody's on if they click on the logo it will deliver them to the home page save okay add a module button okay and select the font family if you want tap to call go down here and edit any of the information you wish if you don't add any border radius the button is has square corners save I'm going to save this as it is so you can see the difference save settings you have to remember to save settings here or you will not see the work that you've just done so we will open link in a new tab okay so obviously needs a bit of work on the placement layout padding I could have added borders and padding and made this bolder text but this is how you would do it if you want to use a larger logo than what you have okay we just edited the default header and that's the header that shows up on every page when you install a new page the default header is automatically installed with each jack page builder page that you use we can add a new header we can create a new header and the new header can have anything you want on it and you can use it well you could use it for every page or you could create one for one specific page so we'll add a module and the module you choose depends on what you want the header to do so I'm going to use an image and you can choose an image that you already have in your library or upload a new one and I'll set that as the image and again there's all sorts of things you can edit in this screen just go through and make the changes that work for you and save now if you want to add taglines and social media you would add another row if you want taglines and social media to be above the header you can just grab by the red bar move the row to where you want it and add your columns and let's do two-thirds one-third add a module this would be tagline edit your colors font sizes orientation spend a week on the font family no actually don't do that border radius okay and I'm just going to leave that as is add another module the social links save okay and here is our second header or third header and you need to give the header a name and save the setting okay now we'll go and add a page and use Jack Page Builder. You can only use modules and any of the things that you create if you also use the Jack Page Builder. Okay, and here is where I will edit the header. So click on the gear and select header. It's automatically at default. And I'll come down and select the header I just created and save add a module and we'll just do this to give the page some height okay that'll give the page some height and we'll save and publish and this is now our new header okay and we'll preview changes 
Okay, and you hit say I and if I go back to home page the original logo is here. If I go to any of the additional pages again the same logo. So this is the default header. If I wanted to make this header here as the default header I would need to edit the original header and make this the default. Okay and that wraps up this tutorial.